Hello Techies! In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to download files from FTP server by using download files from FTP action. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn about download folders from FTP action. Alright, before going to learn about this action, first of all, we will see the use case which we are going to work as part of this tutorial. First one, download single folder. We will see how to download a single folder by using download folder from FTP action. Second one, download multiple folders. We will see how to download multiple folders at the same time. Along with that, we will see another use case that is download multiple folders, which starts with the particular text. Example, in our cases, we are going to use document. All right. We'll see all these three use cases in the particular tutorial. All right. Before going to start that, let me delete this download file from FTP action. Now, let me drag and drop this action that is download folders from FTP action onto the workspace. First, we'll see the parameters. The main purpose of this download folders from FTP action is to download one or more folders from particular FTP server. The first parameter is that FTP connection from which FTP server we are going to download these folders that is getting from the flow variable. All right. Second one folders to download which folders you need to download. Let me go to FTP server. And if you see right now, I am in the project one that is my working directory. And if you see, I'm having a lot of directories inside. You can see I'm having document documents dell documents microsoft and you can see learning test actions testing these are all the directories or the folders which you have in the particular working directory now i want to download the particular directory or particular folder that is documents over here how can i go ahead and do that over here if you see i'm going to give it folder to download i'm just going to give the name as documents and download into local folder. This is nothing but from for which folder I need to download the folders which were hanging from the particular FTP server. In my case, FTP download from the ePath is the folder where we are going to download all the all the folders from the FTP server. Right now, if you see, I don't have any folders in the particular folder that is local folder FTP download. I have cleared all the files, all the folders from the particular folder. All right. Now I'm going to give the same path over here. I'm going to select the icon, select folder. And from there, you can say I'm going to select E. And after that, I'm going to select FTP download. All right. Let's click on OK. And if you see for this action also, we don't have variables produced because of there's no output that we have for this particular action. All right. All right. Let's click on save. Now, once we'll run the flow, we are going to download the single folder from the particular FTP server by using this action that is called download folders from FTP. All right. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see over here, by using this action, I have downloaded the folder with the name of documents. Only single folder, I have downloaded it. All right. Now, we'll see the second use case. I want to download multiple folders. All right. How can I go ahead and do that? Now, let me edit the action that is download folders from FTP action. Over here, I'm going to give the names over here in a such a way. If you see, even we have seen the same kind of scenario in download files from FTP action also. So how can I go ahead and do that? I'm going to use percentage and square brackets. And after that, I'm going to give the name in single quotes. Over here, I'm going to give the documents in single quotes. And after that, there is one more folder I'm going to select. You can see over here, I'm having testing folder also in my particular working directory that is project one, right? I'm going to copy the same testing and then I'm going to mention this testing in single quote. 
and then I, I'm going to close the square bracket and then I'm going to end with percentage. Let me explain you again. If I want to download multiple folders with different names, in that case, I'm going to mention percentage, square bracket, and I'm going to give in single quotes, comma, in single quotes, I'm going to mentioning it. And then I'm going to separate by comma. I'm going to close the square bracket. Along with that, I'm going to mentioning it with percentage. All right, let's click on save. Now, before running this flow, let me delete this existing document folder in the FTP download. Now, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. Now you can see over here, I got documents as well as testing, which are multiple folders I have downloaded by using download folders from FTP action. All right. Now I'm having another use case. I want to download multiple folders, which starts with particular text. In our case, we are going to use documents. Before working with this particular use case, let me show you this example from the FTP server. If you see in my working directory, that is project one, I'm having documents, documents hyphen Dell, documents hyphen Microsoft. Let's assume if you're going to work with multiple folders, which are having in the same, in the same way, right? You can't provide all the names in the particular folders to download parameters, right? If you see over here, I want to give all the names like documents, comma, documents, hyphen Dell, documents, hyphen Microsoft in a such a way, right? So is there a way to do, to download multiple folders, which starts with the particular text? Now in our case, over here, what is the uh, starting text? We're having documents, right? Let me delete this texting over here, testing folder. And I'm just going to give star over here. All right. It is nothing but what are the characters that we have after the document, we are going to download all the folders by using this syntax over here. You can see the syntax over here once again, percentage, square bracket, single quotes, I have mentioned in the single quotes, documents, star also I have given it. So that if you see in our scenario, I'm having documents, documents hyphen Dell, documents hyphen Microsoft. What are the remaining characters that I have after the document text? It will download all the folders by using this syntax. All right, let me click on save. Before going to run this once again, I'm going to delete the folders which are available in the particular FTP. I have deleted all the folders in the FTP download. All right, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And now you can see I'm having documents, documents hyphen Dell, documents hyphen Microsoft. These are the three folders which we have in the particular FTP server, right? I hope you understand how to download single folder. And also we have seen how to download multiple folders. And also we have seen how to download multiple servers, which starts with the particular text by using download folders from FTP action. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.